A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses was keeping the flock of his father-in-law Jethro, the priest of Midian. He led his flock beyond the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire out of a bush. He looked and the bush was blazing, yet it was not consumed. Then Moses said, I must turn aside and look at this great sight and see why the bush is not burned up. When the Lord saw that he had turned aside to see, God called to him out of the bush, Moses, Moses, and he said, Here I am. Then he said, Come no closer. Remove the sandals from your feet, for the place on which you are standing is holy ground. He said further, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look at God. Then the Lord said, I have observed the misery of my people who are in Egypt. I have heard their cry on account of their taskmasters. Indeed, I know their sufferings, and I have come down to deliver them from the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land to a good and broad land, a land flowing with milk and honey to the country of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. The cry of the Israelites has now come to me. I have also seen how the Egyptians oppressed them. So come, I will send you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? He said, I will be with you, and this shall be the sign for you that it is I who sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall worship God on this mountain. But Moses said to God, If I come to the Israelites and say to them, The God of your ancestors has sent me to you, and they ask me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. He said further, Thus you shall say to the Israelites, I am has sent me to you. God also said to Moses, Thus you shall say to the Israelites, The Lord, the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and this my title for all generations. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Psalm 105 O oh, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Tell among the peoples what things he has done. Sing to him, O oh, sing praises. And be telling of all his marvellous works. Exult in his holy name. And let those that seek the Lord be joyful in heart. Seek the Lord and his strength. O oh, seek his face continually. Call to mind what wonders he has done. His marvellous acts and the judgments of his mouth. O oh, seed of Abraham his servant. O oh, children of Jacob his chosen one. Then Israel came into Egypt. And Jacob dwelt in the land of Ham. There the Lord made his people fruitful. Too numerous for their enemies. Whose hearts he turned to hate his people. And to deal deceitfully with his servants. Then he sent Moses his servant. And Aaron whom he had chosen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. 
Let love be genuine. Hate what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Outdo one another in showing honour. Do not lag in zeal. Be ardent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in suffering. Persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil, but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave room for the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. No, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, give them something to drink. For by doing this, you will heap burning coals on their heads. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Thanks, Ken. We're going to do the Gospel now. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 16, beginning at verse 21. Glory, Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. From that time on, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and under great, undergo great suffering at the hands of the elders and the chief priests and scribes and be killed, and on the third day be raised. And he took Peter aside and began to rebuke him, saying, God forbid it, Lord, that this must ever happen to you. But he turned aside and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me, for you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human things. Then Jesus told his disciples, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it. And those who lose their life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit them if they gain the whole world but forfeit their life? Or what will they give in return for their life? For the Son of Man is to come with his angels in the glory of his Father, and then he will repay everyone who has for what has been done. Truly, I tell you, there are some standing here who will not taste death before they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 